The Big Easy with already 145 to date as the city council is now proposing new incentives to put more cops on the street. Well, joining us now, Fox News contributor and New Orleans native, Raymond Arroyo. Raymond, thanks for being here. I mean, here's some more stats from hey, New well. Orleans just to set it up for our audience. Pickpocketing mm. up 90%, armed robbery up 40, 43%, stabbings up 15%, theft up 11 uh, That murder rate that we stated, why is this happening, Raymond, and can a recruitment effort change it? No, there, there'll be no recruitment effort. Well, look, uh, the biggest problem in New Orleans, it's threefold. You've got a mayor, you've got a, a DA, a Soros-backed DA, who let go of 937 violent felony cases. He dismissed them. He's only been in office for one year, and by the way, He's under an 11 count tax fraud uh, federal investigation. He's facing trial any day now. So, when that's your DA, you're in big trouble. The cops don't feel supported. And remember, New Orleans has been under a federal consent decree. I call it a federal descent decree as, as uh, things turn out. Since 2012, the Obama administration placed the police force under that. And what that means is reduced policing capabilities. Uh, they can't pursue nonviolent offenders. Uh, the use of force is greatly restricted. What we've done in New Orleans, Will, is we police and restrain the police force while we allow criminals freedom to roam. This can't go on. And then we have our mayor. And our dear mayor at this moment is on her second official trip abroad in a month. Huh. She's signing a, a decree, a, a sister city decree. I guess you have to do it in person with a city in the French Riviera. Era. Very convenient while her city <laughs> collapses in a crime wave. I've never seen anything like it. And I love this city. You know, Will, we, we've spent time here together. Yeah. We've got the best people, the best food, and sadly now, the highest murder rate and, in the country. Raymond, if you can't just put together a PR recruitment ad and hope people will serve in that position. They understand these dynamics. So could, can That's the police correct. department recover if they need to in light of everything you laid out? Well, people say throw more money at the cops, give them more incentives. Here's the big problem. They're all leaving to go to Jefferson Parish, which is about five minutes away, right next door to, to Orleans Parish. All the good cops are going there. The police don't feel supported. We've lost a sixth, one-sixth of our police force in the past year. And our mayor, you might have this picture, our mayor decides to put up in front of the old city hall, Gallier Hall downtown, she put up a hair pick. This is her answer apparently to the crime, uh, the desperate crime situation. We had a woman here who was carjacked, Will. She was dragged, a 73-year-old woman. They slammed her in the door and dragged her, severing her arm. We've had uh, over two dozen babies, uh, many of them African-American children, shot on our streets. This is an epidemic, and the mayor and the city council and the DA must respond, or this city is going to hollow out, and that would be a great tragedy. To the United States of America. It sure would be uh, to a beautiful city, and uh, it's a rinse mm. and repeat. You mix a mayor with a DA and a demoralized police force, and you get that not just New Orleans, but mm. across the country. Raymond Detroit Royal. on daiquiris, Will. Detroit Re on daiquiris. Detroit we can't become that. on daiquiris. It's not a bad way to put it. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right. Great. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.